it's such a nice day to read that I'm going to go ahead and start reading the next chapter. That's why I'm dressed the same. But anyway, so yesterday we learned about Judith Palgar, the chess player. And today we're going to learn about Marta Vera da Silva, the soccer superstar. Marta Vera da Silva, usually known as just Marta, is the most famous female soccer player ever. She was the FIFA Female World Player of the Year five times in a row. She won both the Golden Ball and the Golden Boot at the FIFA Women's World Cup in 2007. And she scored the most goals ever at FIFA's Women's World Cup tournaments. But it's not been easy to get to where she is now. Her name is Marta Vera da Silva. She was born February 19th, 1986. Her nationality is Brazilian and her profession is soccer player. Quote, it's a boy sport, unquote, people told Marta when she was young. Quote, you have to play with a doll, unquote. And she ignored them, of course, playing barefoot on the streets of Brazil where she was so talented that boys refused to join in. They were outraged that a girl could be better than them. Meanwhile, she played on boys' teams at school until she was banned for being a girl. Marta's big break came when she was 14 and was discovered by top Brazilian coach Helena Pacheco. She was whisked away to Rio de Janeiro to train with one of the greatest soccer clubs in Brazil, Vasco da Gama. But after just two years, the program ran out of cash and it was time to go to the Brazilian town of Santa Cruz where she played for two seasons. So here's the thing. Men's soccer is a really big deal in Brazil. Women's soccer, not so much. If Marta wanted to play at a top level, she was going to have to travel 6,835 miles to be pre precise. Her new team was Yume Ik in Sweden. With Marta on their side, they won the 2003-2004 UEFA Women's Cup. In 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, and 2010, Marta was the FIFA Female World Player of the Year. Then it was back across the Atlantic to the U.S. to play for the Los Angeles Soul. FC Gold Pride and Western New York Flash. She was the top goal scorer every season. Meanwhile, Marta played for Brazil's national women's team in the FIFA Women's World Cup and in the Olympics too, often the top goal scorer. So what sort of player is Marta? Quite simply, she's brilliant. She's got excellent balance. She's fast. She's got great ball control. She knows exactly what other players are going to do next. She's two-footed, which means that she can kick the ball well with both feet. She's committed too, and she's got terrific skills, body swerve, nutmeg, step over, Ravona, you name it. Marta can do it. Just check out clips of her soccer skills online and prepare to be blown away. It's no wonder that she wears the iconic number 10 shirt like all the best Brazilian players. So if you ever feel like becoming a soccer player but decide that the beautiful game is just for men, think again. Marta did. She's now a UNDP or United Nations Development Program Goodwill Ambassador committed to empowering women. What might Marta do? question everyone has the latest sneakers on everyone the thing is they're super expensive and your family can't afford them now you feel as if your friends are looking down their noses at you because you're not like the rest of them what might marta do answer 
Marta was the only girl on the boys soccer team at school until she was kicked out because of silly rules. And she was the only girl to play soccer with boys in the street. Did she stop playing when they told her to go away? Nope. So she wouldn't care what other people told her to do, whether it was about soccer or sneakers. Just because everyone says you should do something, it doesn't mean that you have to do it. Here's our quote. There's a space for everybody. I play all the time with my male friends who are also professionals. Marta Vera da Silva. And remember, she's wearing the number 10. So there's a couple different pictures of her. And look, she plays with everybody, doesn't she? This is the biggest picture of her. But there's one. And there she is again. Maybe I'll have you just color this part because I don't like that crease in the middle of her arm. Anyway, wow. She didn't care that they said, Only girls can't do that. It's just for boys. No girls. Now, tomorrow is going to be an exciting chapter. It's all about Emma Watson, fabulous feminist. And you might remember that Emma Watson plays somebody famous in a famous movie. All right, I'll see you later for more women's history and reading from What Would She Do? Bye-bye.